Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll see one more concept in discrete mathematics. That is how to find the rth term from the ending in the binomial expansion. So in our previous session, we have seen how to find the r plus 1th term from the beginning itself. So now we'll see how to find the rth, rth term from the ending. And also we have seen how to find the middle terms in the binomial expansion. Yes. So without delay, we will start the session. So finding rth term from ending. So after this, we will also see how to find the coefficients of the terms, right? Yes. So let us take the formula. In a binomial expansion, of x plus y power n, the rth term, the rth term from ending is n minus r plus tooth term. Right? So, this is the formula. This is the formula. Just we will see. For example, x plus y power 5. So, in this expansion, how many terms will be there? So, n is 5. So, n plus 1 terms, total 6 terms will be there. So, I am just giving a number 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So, these are the terms. Let, let us imagine these are the terms. So, I want to get not this one. Let us take second term from ending. So, I need to find out the second term from the ending. So, what we have to do? We will apply this formula. n is equal to 5 and r is equal to 2. Now, the formula n minus r plus 2 is equal to 5 minus 2 plus 2. So, which becomes 5. Which becomes 5. See, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, that is the last but 1, right? So, we know that r plus 1th term means, obviously, we will go with 5 minus 1, that is a 4. r is equal to 5 minus 4. So, 4 r will become 4. If r, if it is a fifth term, r will become 4. So, this is the from beginning. This is from beginning. So, we are, uh, I mean, we are supposed to find the second term from the ending. So, in order to find the second term from the ending, we can apply this formula n minus r plus 2. So, that we will get the term from beginning. So, the second term from ending will be fifth term from beginning. So, fifth term means r is equal to 4 because it starts with 0. So, directly we can apply the formula. Right? So, hope you understood. Now, let us see one example problem. Now, let us see this example. So, we need to find the fourth term from ending. In the binomial expansion, x cubed by 2 minus 2 by x square whole power 9. So, in the brackets, we are having only two terms. So, it is a binomial uh, expression. So, we need to expand the binomial exp expression by using the binomial theorem. So, now we need to find the fourth term from ending. Now, first of all, we have to find what is the term from the beginning. So, we can apply this formula. n Here, n is 9 and r is 4. So, n minus r plus 2. So, which becomes 9 minus 4 plus 2. So, which is equal to how much? 7. So, 7th term from beginning. 7th term from beginning. So, 7th term from beginning means r value will become 6. 
R value become 6 because R starts from 0, right? So let us cross check it, right? So I'll write 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So because n is equal to 9. Now you can see fourth term from ending. So 1, 2, 3, 4. 4, right? This one from the ending. Now see seventh term from beginning. So you can observe one from the ending one, two, three, and four from the beginning one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So fourth term from ending is equal to seventh term from beginning. So we got seventh term. So if it is a seventh term, R value starts with 0, so R becomes a 6 here. Now you can apply the formula, we know the term R is equal to, sorry, we need not go with the expansion, R is equal to 6, so N is equal to 9. So 9C6 X cube by 2 whole power 9 minus 6 into minus 2 by X square whole power 6. Okay, you can expand this one. So, 9 minus 6 means it was 3. So, this becomes 9C6. Okay. See, minus 2 power 6 by 2 cube. I am taking constants, right? Now, x cube into 3. x power 9 into x square x power minus 12 you can observe it becomes x power minus 2 minus 2 into 6 minus 12 and this becomes 9 c 6 minus 2 power 6 by 2 cube into x power x power minus 3 so this will be the Term, seventh term from the beginning and fourth term from the ending. So, this is the term. So, this is how we have to find out the term from ending. So, just apply this formula. Just apply this formula in order to get the term from the beginning. So, that you can easily take it. Right? Yes. Now, let us see a one more example. Okay. In this uh, finding of binomial coefficients. Now let us check uh, these two things. Now we need to find the binomial coefficients. So previously we have found binomial terms. Okay, terms. Now we have to find the binomial coefficients. So let us solve these two examples. So first one, find the coefficient of x power 0. Okay, so in this expansion obviously we will be having the powers of x. So in among all those things, we need to find the coefficient of x power 0 okay x power 0 similarly here also there is a one binomial expression in this binomial expansion we need to find the coefficient of x square so obviously if you expand this one we will be getting some uh, term with x square so we need to find the coefficient of that particular term so how to solve this now let us uh, take the general term okay find out the general term the first step is finding general term so general term means r plus 1 right so r plus 1 means here 15 c r x power 15 minus r into minus 2 by x r power i mean y power r so this is a formula okay so with this formula we need to find out the quotient now generalize it 15 cr now uh, take out all the constants and uh, i mean differentiate the constants and x so here 3 power 15 minus r into minus 2 power r into x power 30 minus 2r so here x square power 15 minus r into x power minus r this is this becomes x power minus r 
so how much it becomes 15 cr 3 power 15 minus r minus 2 power r x power 30 minus 3r now after solving the general uh, equation okay after finding the general term so we got the power of x here see this is the power of x and this is the coefficient this is the coefficient now uh, which coefficient we required x power 0 so we required x power 0 so equate both the things x power 0 is equal to x power 30 minus 3r so this is the x power r r the term r plus 1 term so obviously it becomes 30 minus 3r is equal to 0 30 is equal to 3r and simply r is equal to 10 so we got the value of r so substitute the here substitute 15 c 10 3 power 15 minus 10 5 into minus 2 power r means 10 so you can apply x power 30 minus 30 x power 0 so this is the coefficient of given power of x that means x power 0 so this is how we have to find out the coefficients of the power of x in the expansion hope you understood first we need to find the general term general term means r plus 1 term so taking r as a consideration and 15 cr we know the formula in that just differentiate the x powers and the constants and now we we got the x power and we need to find some x power that is the x power 0 so obviously i mean just compare these two things initialize these two things x power 0 is equal to x power 30 minus 3r so that we will be getting the value of r which will be substituted in this particular uh, term we will get the coefficient of x power 0 similarly here also find the coefficient of x square in x plus 1 by x whole power 8 the same thing general term find the general term so 8 c r let's start from here itself 8 c r x power 8 minus r into 1 by x power r 1 by x power r now what happens so find out the term of x 8 c r x power 8 minus r into x power minus r which becomes 8 c r into x power 8 minus 2 r so here x power we got now which term we need to find x square so x power 8 minus 2 r is equal to x square so that implies 8 minus 2 r is equal to 2 sorry ah yes 8 minus 2 r is equal to 2 which becomes 2 r is equal to 8 minus 2 which is 6 r is equal to 3 so we got r value now substitute so in this one okay 8 c 3 r is 3 x power 8 minus r 8 minus r means so you can write it here right see this is x power 8 minus 2 r 8 minus 6 square so this term means this is the coefficient of x square this is the coefficient of x square so hope you understood this one so we need to find the coefficients in this way okay now let us solve one more example now see we may get this type of questions also here 2x minus 3y whole power 7 we need to find the co binomial coefficient for x power 5 y square x power 5 y square so we need to find the coefficient for this particular term the same approach we have to follow find out the general term so 7cr 2x power 7 minus r into minus 3y whole power r so which becomes 7cr 2 power 
सेवन माइनस आर इंटू माइनस थ्री पावर आर इंटू एक्स पावर सेवन माइनस आर इंटू वाई पावर आर सो वी वी हैव सेपरेटेड द कॉन्स्टेंट वैल्यूज एज वेल एज द टर्म्स एक्स एंड वाई नाउ सी ना वॉट वी हैव टू डू सो वी नीड टू इनिशलाइज दैट वन एक्स पावर सेवन माइनस आर इज इक्वल टू एक्स पावर फाइव सिमिलरली y power r is equal to y square y square so obviously when compared to these two things 7 minus r is equal to 5 so you can solve anything okay here directly we got r is equal to 2 you can cross check so r is equal to 2 right now we can directly find out the binomial coefficient by applying this one so 7c you can apply here 7c 2 into 2 power 5 into minus 3 power 2 into x power 5 y square. So this part, this part is a coefficient. The binomial coefficient of the term x power 5 y square. So like this, we can solve the problem. Okay, hope you understood. See, this is a one more kind of uh, uh, problem we may expect in our uh, examinations. So, determine whether the expansion x square minus two by x whole power eighteen will contain a term x power ten. So, previously we are finding the coefficient of given x power, but here we need to find whether th this expansion, if we expand this particular binomial expression. whether we will be getting the x power 10 term or not okay so the same procedure so finding of general term 18 cr x square power 18 minus r into minus 2 by x power r so differentiate both the constants and the x so 18 cr x power 36 minus 2r into x power minus r into minus 2 power r okay yes now 18 cr minus 2 power r x power 36 minus 3r minus 2r minus r that means minus 3r now we got a term called This one, x power thirty six minus three. So what we have to check? We have to check whether this expansion is having x power ten term or not. Just in this slice, x power thirty six minus three r is equal to x power ten. Now you can simply substitute and check ten three r is equal to twenty six and r is equal to twenty six by three, which is a fractional. so we know that in any binomial expansion we will not be getting the fractional terms we will be get either four terms or five terms or six terms but the fraction will not be there 4.5 times uh, 4.3 terms like that we will not get any fractional part in that okay so if you got this fractional part that implies in this particular binomial expansion we will not be getting the term x power 10 okay so for example if we got r value if you substitute the same if we got the r value as 24 for example example and say so if it is r is equal to 8 that means it's an integer so if it if we got the integer obviously we can say there is a term with x power 10 if you got a fraction we can say there is no term with x power 10 so this is how we have to find out the binomial coefficients so hope you understood the session so first first we have uh, seen how to find out the rth term from the ending and now we have seen how to find the binomial coefficient for a particular x power uh, some n term right yes so i'll stop here and if you are having any queries or doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts If you really enjoyed my session like my session 
share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much